All right, so if you're here, then you're here because, well, you want to see what it's like to go parasailing. I'm going to tell you this much. We're going to go through the whole shebanger, so it's going to be a lot of talking. Sorry, but if you don't like the talking and you're really impatient, just go ahead and skip ahead. You don't have to listen to me bander about. No big deal. Definitely not hurting my feelings. And you can just skip right on onto the parasailing and the fun stuff. But if you want to hear a little bit about the experience, sit down and listen because we're going to get into it. All right, so first off, this is how this worked. We were in a condo in the middle of the island, okay? So when I say middle of the island, we were at Sugar Bay Condos. Uh, totally awesome. Absolutely great place to go. Uh, just make sure when we were there, uh, I guess a front head came in the week before, so the water was a little murky. It had a real good sharky feel to it. Um, I only saw two sharks in nine days. Uh, they were both nurse sharks, so no worries there. I will say, however, if you are do make it to actually watching the parasailing video of it, uh, there was a comment made, what happens if we fall out of the air? I said, well, a shark will probably kill us. Uh, literally, uh, shortly after that, there was a shark underneath us. And I will try to circle it so that way you can see it. Um, it was a very black, long shadow. I don't know many fish that are that long that just leisurely stroll about in the singularity. Anyway, so this is what we did. So we decided to leave our hotel, or our condo. We drove through the ghetto a little bit. Um, the area we were in was actually really, really, really bad. Which is really hard to believe because the whole island is so beautiful. Uh, but yeah, we were in the straight up hood. So like, there's a little bit of the hood. All right, and you drive a little bit. Then you get this really nice, well taken care of building. That's a federal building. Then you drive a little bit more. Straight up hood. Everybody's really nice, though. It's probably like the nicest people I've ever met in the hood. Crazy, crazy, crazy nice. Uh, mainly, your only trouble is if you're going to go down to buy drugs or you're doing some other dumb shit that you don't need to be doing, you're probably going to get shot, stabbed, or robbed. Um, and in which case, it's really going to ruin your vacation. Just don't do those things. Okay? Just don't do it. Um, you'll have enough fun with none of those things. You can do all those things back home, which you probably shouldn't be doing them there either, but whatever. So you're going to get through a bunch of hood. You're finally going to get up in Christiansted, all right? You can go down these really old, super colonial roads. You're going to pass like this, like a little garden area. It's all kind of, it's kind of like gated off. You can go in there. You can just hang out. It's like a little flower garden area. They got chickens running around everywhere. It's, it's actually really nice, bright, bright colors. Everything is colorful. It's just very vibrant, full of life. Um, and then you're going to park. Now, if you get there really stupid early like I do because I'm an idiot, uh, parking will be a uh, cinch. Not a problem at all. You'll find it right off the, uh, the main drag there. And then you park, get your stuff out, get together. You're going to head on down. You're going to walk through uh, King Christian's little hotel area. Real cool. You got these awesome little pillars. You're going to make your way to the boardwalk. Now, like I said, I like to get places really early. So, like, because I like to check in early. And sometimes, you know, sometimes, like, they just want to go. Like, and we didn't really know what time we were supposed to be there. We did all this on a whim. So, as me and my wife, uh, Katie, we're just kind of, like, hanging out. This is a great time, too, to totally enjoy the views. All right? Because you can sit right there on the boardwalk. You got your own little uh, bench. Um, um, if you get there a little too early, make sure you bring yourself a snack. We got a little hungry, and we didn't get time to actually eat at the breakfast place because once everything got going, it was signed papers, uh, you know, pretty much let them know that if you die, it's not their fault. Uh, nobody died. I sit there, you're going to go on the boardwalk. So we got there a little early in our breakfast place. Uh, I definitely recommend going to Toast. If, if you're going to be at Christiansted, go to Toast for breakfast. Absolutely delish, and it's like one of the few places that when you tell yo like go ahead and throw a bunch of whiskey in my coffee because that's how you should start every morning when you're on vacation. They're gonna do that, and since nobody there drinks whiskey, like they got a lot of whiskey, and they're just gonna be like just. Is this, they don't know when to stop, so it's just like you just put a little splash of coffee and fill the rest of that mug up with some some bourbon, some whiskey. We're good. And start your day off half drunk. You'll totally enjoy it a lot more, and you definitely won't feel your sun be baked off you by the intense tropical rays. Totally worth it. And then every morning, that's why you just got to keep doing that to numb the pain of what it's like to actually be burnt alive, uh, which, if you're like my wife, really sucks. I get golden brown. No worries. So once you sign all your papers, 
You sign your papers, uh, you fill out your forms, they're going to go over a little safety stuff, you're going to jump on this boat, right? They're going to take you out. They're going to take you out through the pass, so you can get a little bit of the old fort on one side, you're going to get Protestant Key on the other, and that's a uh, hotel on the key. You'll get to see some great old school architecture there. Uh, not too old, uh, but like uh, pre-Hugo, uh, I think. Yeah, pre-Hurricane Hugo. Um, so it's one of the like few buildings, and as you see, like most of the buildings are all like straight up concrete. Those are the ones that have survived. Just concrete. That's the way to do it. So you're going to pass that. They're going to go over some more safety stuff, and then they're going to put you in the harness. Once they get you in the harness, bye-bye. And I'm talking 300 feet up in the air. They're going to dip you in the water a little bit. I'm going to take you back out of the water. They're going to drop you down, bring you back up. They're going to do little figure rates with you. Um, the uh, most amazing views that you can get. It's great. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, now for me, I'm actually terrified of heights. I, uh, I don't like getting on my, my roof. It's only eight foot off the ground. Um, I, I get on the peak of that roof and I uh, don't like it. And uh, so when you get 300 feet up in the air and uh, you start getting a little nauseous, those things happen, uh, just go ahead and vomit. It's okay. And if your wife's the one who set up the parasailing knowing that you're terrified of heights, just puke all over her. They'll dip you in the water anyways. Hopefully you throw up before they dip you in the water, not afterwards, and uh, at least it'll mostly wash off. No big deal. Uh, I will say the only thing that was a little uncomfortable was the seat on the old caboose. That was, uh, that hurt a little bit. I don't know why, but it's just, mm, don't know. But I will say we had a ton of ton of fun doing it. Um, you will be entirely wrecked afterwards. We don't know why. We were so, so tired. A absolutely wrecked. Uh, so yeah, after that we decided to take a little beach walk and then uh, we did a little paddle boarding and that's, that's pretty much what we did for the day. Uh, no more diving, no more fishing because we were exhausted but we were exhausted from fun and I definitely, definitely recommend doing parasailing. But uh, no more of me because everybody's tired of hearing my voice anyways because they love to tell me how much I talk. Uh, maybe I just like to hear the sound of my voice. So, mm. and well, take it for you guys itself and uh, take a look, see if you guys like it. Thanks for watching. down slowly. No, I know, if you fell. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that would fucking really hurt. Uh, uh. How long do we get to stay up here? I don't know. Uh. How come yours is sitting, like, much better than mine? It's hurting my ass. Well, that's because I got a big ass, that's why. This boy likes to eat tacos and steaks, so it all goes to my hips and, and my patoose. Ugh. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, there's so there's Green Key. That's Buck Island. That's not that far of a swim. <laughs> <laughs> we could have totally swam out there. Like we're going really slow. Yeah, yeah, we're just floating. Oh, they're letting us down. Already? No, they're gonna yank us and. Why uh, are we going down? Oh, oh man, there. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, oh, oh, I don't like this. Oh. Well, because first off, I want to throw up. That's why. I want to vomit. <laughs> no, I don't need fucking drama. Mean, there's no motion up here. It's the simple fact that I'm floating in the air from a parachute. I'm pretty sure I would not have been a good paratrooper. I think Ooh. I would. I would be down with this. This is much better than scuba. Ooh, scuba is so much better than this. Ooh. Oh. oh, well, if I didn't need to poop before, I do now. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. Look at all the, you're missing all the pretty uh, ocean scenery. All the grass? Yeah. Hey, oh, look, there's, oh, a fish. there's a big fish. Big fish. Yeah, I'm not swimming out this far. Oh, well, hey, look, there's a swirling reef of death. Oh, what? Is that I don't know. Real? No, I don't. It's, uh, I think it's a dive thing right there. I think there's just, uh, oh. some, uh, reef. <clears throat> Oh, look, sea turtle floating on the water. Oh, look at that right there. Little sea turtle. He's chilling. There's another one. Oh, wow. There's two. Ah. Oh, 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 I hit the cliff. Oh. That was cool. Look, there's another one. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of sea turtles out here. Sea turtles. He went under. Five minutes? What? Is that it for real? Oh no, they probably got to catch the wind again. Um, we're dropping. Ah, uh, uh, there it is. Now we're gonna go back up. Oh, this thing's killing my hips. I know, it hurts. Oh, Ooh, oh we got real high, oh, and this yeah. is killing my oh, hips. Yeah, we got. Okay. Oh wait, there's a big fish right there. Big yeah. fish. Big fish. Oh, oh man, we're way oh, up look, here. Turtle. Yeah, I see turtle. Ugh. Look, it's five minutes out. He's going under. He's getting the air. Oh, right now we're getting the air. Ah! Look, another one. Ah. You know what? Right now I'm trying to worry about not dying. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh, dip me in the ocean, please. Please dip no, me no, in the no, ocean. Not yet. We're getting low. Are we getting low? Ooh. How are we getting low? How are, how are you feeling? Because they're catching awesome. the wind. Oh. This is awesome. Oh. I'd much rather. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the same damn sea turtle, babe. <laughs> <laughs> there's only four sea turtles out here. No, we've no, there's seen all of them. There's two right there. Yeah, we've seen them. <laughs> they're getting air. Oh, they're, yeah. Now we're really high. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, yeah, I stopped bouncing. Oh, okay, so yeah, here's the islands. Oh. 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 This is much better than this How little that boat is! Woo! Woo! My tum tum just not feel yum yum. Oh! Oh goodness! Oh my! I don't know. My ass is falling out of this though. Oh, Should have got it under my legs more. I know this is not comfortable. It's like on my. Oh! Well, you got a better position than me. Oh, actually, we hold this. Don't let go. Please don't let go. <laughs> Babe, you're... There we go. You got it? Oh, yeah, I had to reposition. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is the same turtle for the 1800th time. There is only one giant ass sea turtle that we are keeping swinging around. Yeah, there's several. Oh, 
Oh, but endless, endless ocean. Endless ocean. Oh, well, who are you kidding? Oh, there we go. Oh. oh, yeah. Okay, well, uh, parasailing, that was... This is a win-win. Oh, what do you mean this is a win-win? I am not having a good time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, if I vomit, uh, it's going to be gross. I have some drama. <laughs> yes. Uh, we can take a nap together. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you? Oh. Are you going to vomit? Oh, it's coming up. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh my. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Are you oh. real? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I drops on a fucking shark. Oh my gosh, do you see any sharks? I'll heel stomp the shit out of that big ass fucking majestic creature. Why are we getting close to the boat? Uh, hey, there's a, is that a starfish? What? Starfish? It's just a big thing of sarcasm. Oh. They're probably gonna bring us in. Why? Uh -huh. Well, oh, okay. here's our little dip. Uh, it's gonna be so cold. Oh gosh. Oh. 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 oh.